take two. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm back again. And um, it's not the same day as I filmed that first part. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but <laughs> it's a completely different day. I um, have, yeah. yeah, it's actually the 29th today, so three days until Halloween. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell, my ears arrived. They're way paler than I am. <laughs> so we will be painting these boys with some foundation not sponsored we're gonna cover up the label some foundation that's like my skin tone kind of i can't find an exact match but it's kind of my skin tone so i have a little a little sponge a little sponge <laughs> uh some blush for the tips of the ears just to make it a little bit more realistic of course it's going to be hard to make them completely realistic because they have these little little flabs because you're supposed to See if you can do this. It's supposed to hook on like that. And you can obviously see much lighter than I am. And sure I can just cover up, but it's still gonna look way too white. But you can see the total difference of the skin tone, like from my face to this ear. It's not it's not correct. Considering your ears are your face color. We're gonna get to painting them. I'm so excited. I also have a pair of shorter ears that I might paint because I do not know if I'll be wearing these or the short pair, but I'll be painting the longer pair first. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna pump some foundation onto my hand. I am in no way qualified to be doing makeup. I basically suck at it because I don't do it on a daily basis and I don't know if this is anyone gonna absorb it or if it's just gonna stay on top and just be gross but we're just gonna pat it on see I did a little bit um I don't know if this video is gonna go on this same vlog as the first video I made but if it does then welcome back does not if it goes on a different walk then hello my name is Dee Halloween soon I'm preparing my costume my costume is an elf I made the cloak it is made I will put a picture of me wearing it here if I'm possible of doing that in my editing app I still have not checked but here's the ear that's been painted and here's the ear that's not painted you can see a slight difference like just very slight, but that's a lot closer to my actual skin color. Now up close, it looks very streaky and gross. So this is basically painted, painted, makeup. And if I put it on, it's still, ooh, this is, oh, this is this ear. It still might be a little bit too light. But that's what contour is for. Yeah, it still is a little bit too light, but it's better than what this ear is. And now I will be using a bit of blush on the tips of the ears. As you see, I have very red ears. <laughs> I, I don't, it happens after I get really warm. And it's kind of warm in the sweatshirt, but I don't feel like switching out of it. <sighs> My brushes are in the bathroom. I have to go get them really quick. I'll be right back. Ooh, that was my foundation. <laughs> Putting that up there. So I brought a few things, some brushes, for one for contour and one for the blush. Um, I'm going to contour them a bit with the unnamed contour brand that I got a long time ago because I don't buy makeup very often. <laughs> now what color to do? I'm gonna go for the third. Fourth lightest. So I put some contour along this edge because that is the just basically along the edges is where you want to put it just to give them a bit more shadow and definition I guess. Oh, I don't really know. Because it is plastic and it doesn't absorb any of this you're gonna want to kind of go lighter with all the makeup. Um, because in real life, your skin will try to 
absorb the makeup, I think. I don't know for sure. I don't know. Um, but yeah. It's kind of shiny, kind of shimmery. Looks dirty on camera. But I'm going to compare it to the ear that I have not done anything to. Which is, of course, the shorter ear. But one definitely looks more realistic than the other. And the color difference. That's going to match my skin tone so much better. Even though it does this one looks completely white next to it like that's crazy they were both the same color once i when i got it and after a bit of blending it smells like latex <laughs> after a bit of blending and coloring it turned into an ear so let's try it on shall we it's still not my perfect oh, no i'm trying it on wrong still not my perfect skin tone but you can't really expect anything when you don't have the right materials. So yeah. That looks so much better. I'm gonna have to compare it to this one because I already painted the other one um, with all this stuff, so. Alright, they're different uh, heights, heights, but that one just looks like you put a piece of plastic in this one actually looks little bit more like an ear. It looks closer to my skin tone. Another thing I've noticed, which I like. I might have to do some more coloring of the blush up on the tip of the ear. Another thing I like is I can shake my head. These ears do not move. <laughs> so, it's gonna be super cute with my little cape. I'm gonna put some lighter colored contour so I was using this one for the inner parts I'm gonna be using this top one um, for this little part up here as I want it to be lighter than the rest of the year since it is a high point but I also don't want it to be completely white it looks dirty it's not it's just painted See how much closer that is to my skin color? This is what we're working for. And the back is still white. We're going to have to make that better. Because it is going to be on the back, I'm going to coat it in brown. Not completely. Just make it darker. Since that's how shadows and light work. I think I don't... Yeah, just go in with your fingers. Water. You can wash it away with water if you don't like it. That's the thing about makeup and not using like paint or something for this. One, makeup blends a lot easier and a lot better. And two, it's just something that if you, you can easily get since paint, I think. It can be more expensive, but at the same time, makeup is also very expensive. This is all stuff I had. Even though I don't do makeup, it was just kind of stuff I found from when I was younger and I was like obsessed. It's fine. Anyway, if you guys were wondering where I was getting these ears, they're from Amazon. And I went through the reviews on a lot of them and there were people saying certain ones were uncomfortable, certain brands worked better than others, certain ones didn't stay on. And I got the one with the highest rating. I suggest that. They were about six nine no, seven ninety nine for two pairs of ears. The short and long pair and i think they look pretty good like of course you're gonna have to work with them so with any ears you order online they don't have a color selection I'm pretty done with this ear i might have to clip off that little section but i don't know where sensors are i think they're underneath me <laughs> yep the chair it's um like a chest so i have this little place that i wanted to chop yeah. these pair this pair is done it looks more like skin it looks cleaner not clean it looks good let's hope it doesn't rain on halloween actually let's hope it does i'm kind of excited if it were to rain keep that on while i'm painting the other one that one's basically done as well just a little bit more blending and stuff and I'll be back once I have painted everything. Yeah. 
on that. I've painted both of these little ears. It looks like it's higher up. I don't know. That might just be my face. Anyway, painted the little ears. Um, I'm trying to adjust them to what I like. I prefer them to be flipped like that, but I guess it's all up to your ear shape. I'm trying to, because the way my, it would go, my ear would be like this, which is very far up. But I don't mind it. And if you want to cover this, you can take a strand of hair and cover it like that. No one will know that you're hiding. But what I do is I'm just gonna put some hair coverage. And yes, it is closer to my skin color. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. But it is. It's very cute. Little ears. I feel like it's only fair if I change into my cloak but I have very dirty hands so let me change it and we're here <laughs> so here we are with the little ears they're so cute I wish they were more down here but that's just my ear placement I can't change my ear placement and here's the cloak I made um, there's a little, little mistake there with the holes where it figures me out and I put something there. But it's very cozy, very warm. This is only a temporary shirt. I will be figuring out what I'm actually going to wear. And they flop like little failures. <laughs> Another thing I like about these um, that the other ones apparently didn't have was that these are soft ears. And so the other ones were hard and you can't bend them. And I just feel like this is a little more realistic, which is what we're going for <laughs> not really we're now so this is what it would look like with the hood <laughs> what are you just gonna say it ain't gonna really work with the hood it flares out and it just makes me look like a human and then kapow we are no human <laughs> so yeah this is the little outfit very very cute thank you guys for watching this video um i will be doing more videos soon when i'm doing the makeup test maybe even do like a get ready with me for school that'd be fun hope you guys enjoyed it bye i'm an elf <laughs> bye